Welcome everybody, my name is Katrinka, I'm a professional singer and a vocal coach and uh, Felix made me go completely crazy last time that I reacted to Stray Kids and I still have flashbacks. <laughs> that gorgeous human being is Felix from Stray Kids and uh, I've been so shook by his voice that I just today I just decided we're gonna we're gonna spend the whole video just listening to him <laughs> and you guys just wanted me to look into his voice a little bit more because apparently not it's not just deep but he has a whole range to him and uh, i have to say i am very excited i'm very 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 excited now if you are interested in everything music and singing related this is the right place for you so please don't forget to subscribe and if you want to hear me singing i created my second channel that is called katrinka music and the link to it is going to be down in the description along with the link to my brand new website so if you've ever thought about learning how to sing or you wanted to work with me on your voice this is your chance if you click on the link there's going to be all the information that you need if you want to start with one-to-one -one lessons with me or my starting singing curse and if you are unsure and you cannot really imagine how the whole process works then once in a month i will be organizing a free open lesson the first one is going to be now in october but there's limited amount of spots there so make sure to book it as soon as possible and now without further ado felix and his voice, everybody. Let's get into that. So today we're gonna talk about the mysteries of Felix's voice and uh, I'm gonna try to uncover what's happening, but honestly, um, I think the biggest shock for everybody is probably that sweet, cute face. And I can tell that he's also like a super sweet kid, right? And uh, the comparison or like the contrast to his voice that he uses for singing that he uses in their recordings. I don't know. It just still feels like he's just opening his mouth and someone else is talking because. Hmm. All right, let's go. That's so cute! <laughs> I really do believe that the little cartoony voice, like, if you wanna talk like this, is, is cute. <laughs> you have to learn how to kind of do it, but vocal cords are very flexible. It's like a muscle. It can stretch and it can completely relax. And, and even though you can build your range via practicing and singing for a very long time working with a vocal coach and there is also something that is predisposition that is something that you've born with some people are born with a very small range and some people are born with a with a very flexible vocal cords that are prolonged sometimes so even though the the jump is pretty huge and the difference is insane right between his very low voice and his super high voice he is basically using completely different placement for this and he's not engaging his chest voice and the lower vibrations so therefore he climbs a very very high and then we've got this cute little cartoony voice from him <laughs> He is such a sunshine. My God, he has also such a cute, quirky personality. I love that. He's adorable. He is basically completely disconnecting his voice right now from anything that would be weighing him down. So this is very much centered around the nasal area. It's very much up there. And um, there's like no trace no trace of the lower parts at all. Yogi, Uri, Koyok District 9. Yogi, Uri, Koyok District 9. Oh my god. 
you can hear how nasally it gets a little bit more nasally and then his lower voice which is more rich way more rounded the nasal kind of timber comes from the placement which is way more up in this area <laughs> Okay, that was adorable, but honestly, I also want to talk about the fact that he has a great control up there as well. So the least utilized areas of our voice that we sing with the least um, usually do tends to cause us a little bit of a trouble when it comes to control, but his control over there was very good. He was perfectly pitched. He was actually stylizing it a lot, stylizing it into the cartoony type of singing, but it's still a stylization and it was very clean. So even though he probably uses that kind of voice the least, the control was very good. So I think this is the voice that is most natural for him. So the most general idea is us being most comfortable somewhere around where it, kind of the tone of our speech voice is located and i mean that of course this is the area that we utilize the most but overall we do have uh we do have pathways to a lot of places in our voice and something that i rediscover with my students a lot is actually their access to their areas because they don't even know a lot of times guys have no idea how low they are capable of going and the girls that are, for example, very, very set in their head voice and their like very upper mix, do rediscover kind of their earthy undertones when they start to incorporate a little bit of a chest as well. So it is a spectrum and I feel like a Felix or like the unique quality of Felix is that he has such a good access to um a very broad spectrum of his voice and i think this was kind of probably the most natural for him but also again in in, in the recordings and performances and singing for stray kids he's utilizing probably most his deep voice so it's probably progressively becoming more and more his golden standard so where he feels uh, the most comfortable you make it's gorgeous. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have a thing for deep voices in all of the styles and I've never thought that I am gonna find it in, in like K-pop as well. And I have a huge thing for deep voices. I love that. It's it's so pleasant to listen to. He also has a very gorgeous tone quality that com comes through in his deep voice as well. And um, the you can you can hear the huge difference between his normal singing voice and when he's dropping um, the larynx and and just dropping this much because he is utilizing a lot of vibration in his chest and uh, there is a lot of fry that he's building it on which is okay the fry and the vibration is the easiest kind of a pathway into very deep voice but you could see that he naturally takes a t tiny bit of a time 
as a preparation before he goes there. So he focuses, he kind of relaxes his whole throat and um, then he's able to drop. So it's partially also mental that he has to like get ready for that. And uh, it is not a position that is 100% most natural for him, but it is very easily accessible for him. You can hear how deeply he is rooted in that chest vibration from him sounding a little bit like a subwoofer which is normal that happens with like a very very deep bass voices the lower they drop they are kind of progressively losing the color and the voice and it starts to sound a little bit just like a subwoofer just like a very low resonation that does not really have any particular color now he's not singing that low so the color is still coming through I think he just found that very sweet spot where it's super low, but the color is still coming through. NBC Idol Radio. Let me introduce the host of this show and your DJ, B2B, Chong Il Hun. I am Root. Morka. Morka. I'm going to go to Morka. I did more than Morka. Then to the Nimi Soga. No more Gago. Pure Hongo third eye. Or Lance Way now I survive. Or Kunan and Tang Gorka. Tang Gorka. Oh! What was here? Oh, check it out. What was here? He can keep that eye contact, huh? He can. He, he really can. <laughs> wakey wakey. Oh, okay, so. Come on, it's time to wake up. Don't want to be late today. Oh, I'll just hold on. I'm setting this as my as my alarm for the morning. This is gonna be way better waking up since tomorrow. Knowing like a backstory of Stray Kids, a little bit of the backstory and, and everything, I really do believe that he learned uh, this himself and uh it's really admirable um he is very agile and very flexible with his voice and just the capability to connect so deep with his chest voice is really admirable especially the utilization of the vibration because the it's so strong there it's really 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 cool Talk up. Hi, today um, <laughs> on Idol Radio, oh, my name is oh. Stray Kids Felix. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Hello. It's Hello. very much set up there. I hope you guys are warm today. <laughs> uh. Happy Halloween. Oh. He's adorable. Well, um, in the video, they said that he switches instantly. This was not instant. You literally need seconds to relax your vocal cords and just set them to jump into a different area now interesting would be actually what i would love to hear interesting would be like um him going from a very high voice and like very very slowly dropping good great control over that very very high voice especially because that drop was fast when i've mentioned before that i would love to hear him go from very high tone or like comfortably high tone for him to very low and like slowly drop in this was probably the closest thing that you can do, but it was jump. So this was jump. This was from a very high tone, then jump to a really low one. But again, like a relaxation of the vocal cords is, is possible within seconds. But it does take a lot of agility and it does take a lot of really vocal athleticism because that's something that she just cannot do like this but overall i think felix is talented as hell because i, I do believe they do have they probably do have vocal coaches now and so but i know that he was capable of doing this before he even like got any kind of tutoring for his singing for their singing like a group because i'm pretty sure they're a group in the scale of stray kids and 
and you know btns and stuff i'm pretty sure they, they do have best vocal coaches and technicians that are really teaching them to sing sustainably yada yada but, but the fact that he was able to learn this himself and to find that pathway into places of his voice that a lot of other singers are trying to connect on that parts of their voice for years for a very long time but i think it kind of stems from his very playful personality and him being just very very curious very open minded and i feel like a lot of it was him just having fun with his voice just trying various things so i just think he was playing around i just think he was discovering his voice a lot of people have tons of mental blocks around their voices especially now after watching this video i have even more appreciation for him he is such a sunshine an adorable human being and um i am so proud of him <laughs> even though this is just a second video that i react to him i am so proud of him because he's not scared to do anything with his voice and as long as he's gonna be doing it very safely and sustainably go off felix show us everything that you can do because you are pretty freaking amazing so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do want to join me on my singing lessons you want to try to sing yourself you want to work with me i will help you to develop your singing personality your signature singing style and um just work on your confidence and happiness as a singer then don't forget to go and check my website and all the information that you need is going to be there so if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe right here here is the video that youtube actually recommended for you and here is the rest of my korean reactions please stay safe and healthy i'll see you next time